You're watching 8 News Now at 6.30. As if you didn't know, we are getting closer to the start of the NHL season here in Las Vegas. Our night's icebreaker segment takes on new meaning tonight with the start of the season right around the corner. And Ron Futrell is here with the latest. Ron? Yeah, we got to hustle this up now, okay? The first practice is officially tomorrow at City National Arena. And we're starting to see the personality of this team take shape. Now, hockey teams have to have the right mix. They've got to have the scores like James Neal on this team, oh, the tough guys who don't mind mixing it up, and the fun guy who can, well, I, I guess we could say can break the ice. Well, the Knights have found that guy in Nate Schmidt. He's got a smile on his face and, well, a skip in his skate while he's on the ice. Schmidt came from the Washington Capitals as one of their top young defensemen. Now he'll play the role of icebreaker with the Knights. You look like you, you're having more fun out there than just about anybody else on the ice. I mean, smiling, uh, messing around with some of the guys. When you, you blocked the pass one time, and you, you, were, you were giving the guys uh, some grief. Well, why not? You know, it's just trying to, you know, 25 guys to come together. No one knows each other, really. So just trying to lighten the mood a little bit. And that's just kind of my personality to you know, have fun on the ice and, and you know, Trying to get the guys going a little bit, especially trying to poke at the forwards a little bit, make them a little better as well. So um, it was good just getting to know the guys each and every day. So then, uh, it's been fun so far. Before the last postseason, the Caps were picked by many to win the Stanley Cup, but they fell short. They ran into a Pittsburgh Penguins team with a pretty good goalkeeper. We played a hot team. We ran into a hot goalie, Mark Andre Fleury. I actually talked to him about it a little bit today. It's good for me because I'm on the winning side, right? So it's a little easier, but. Um, I don't know, I guess if he gets too mouthy a bit, maybe I can just remind him about those, uh, <laughs> those playoff series. We need, uh, we need guys like that, and I'm glad uh, Nate is here with us, and uh, that he can bring his personality on the ice and practice. And, uh, yeah, you know, he, he works hard at all, but he just keeps everybody uh, smiling through, through it, and it makes uh, practice a lot more fun. Okay, more, more on Nate Schmidt. He played his college hockey at Minnesota here before making it to the NHL with the Washington Capitals there. Uh, besides being the guy who breaks the tension on the ice, he's a pretty good defenseman, so that's important yeah, to know. Yes. You, you have to sort of play the game a little bit. Plus, he's left-handed, so that makes him a little crazy, too. <laughs> I'm left-handed, so I can say that, okay? By the way, it's Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota, you, by the way. Okay, we're going to get the, ac <laughs> we'll get the accent down, too, as the season goes on. <laughs> do you Thank play left-handed, too, or do you play right? I don't play ho play hockey. At all. Yeah. I do everything left-handed. No, I, I am left-handed with if everything. You, if baseball, you did play hockey, it would be left-handed. Baseball, my, basketball, you. and yes. My dad is lefty, and he plays right. Oh, so yeah, okay. he's a That's weirdo. Uh, John Langler and I, by the way, have already talked about going out on the ice and doing some. He's, he's right-handed. I'm left-handed, but he's see? very good. He's very I am good. Not. Right. Okay. So. Thanks, Ron.